Hello, my fashionistas. You're most welcome to Yvonne Winifrey UG. I am Yvonne, and in this video, we are making this beautiful wrap skirt that has ruffles along the hemline. So, let's get into the video. So, for demonstration, I'm going to work with an Ankara Okitenge okay, fabric, but you can work with any fabric that you have. And uh, the width that I'm working with is the hip measurement, the entire hip measurement plus about 7 to 10 inches. So today I'm working with the hip measurement of 42 inches plus 10 inches. So that is my entire width and the length that I'm working with is 23 inches. Uh, joining allowances included but remember we'll add uh, a waist belt up there and down we will be adding ruffles so now folding the fabric into two this is how it looks like so this is going to be the center back that will be the center back and from that center back uh, let me just fold it so that you see how it will look like so that is how it will be look like so that's the center back that I'm working with, I'm talking about and aside that center back will have two dots that will be at the back so that means this opening here is our kind of the center front but you can design this card the way you want you can put that opening at the side or in the middle at, the, at your center front when you are putting it on so now from up here i'm taking off about uh, 12 inches but you can even work with about 10 inches and then from at the hem from the sides i'm going in by around 10 inches but you can even work with eight nine and this is going to help us uh, carve out our skirt you know so I'm going in with some dotted uh, curved line and then I join the dots so that I carve out that part like that and after I can just cut it out so sometimes you can even carve it out up to the top end or even up to the end of the hem at uh, along the hemline and that will determine the opening you will be having at the opening of the wrap skirt I think you get what I'm saying so as you see there so that that curve can be curved from the other end from there to like up you can just go up to there so it just depends what the opening of the skirt that you want so guys i'm just going to um, take the measurement uh, of the dart um, i'm determining the dart placement now so remember this is folded into to remember we we said this will be the center back so from that center back i'm taking off four and a half inches and that that length will be four and a half inches half inch will be uh, the joining allowance to the waist belt so now i have to, i have notched where my dots will be remember there will be two dots so from there i'm going to measure out this entire hemline remember here our skirt is still on fold so after taking this entire measurement i have to divide to multiply it by two because it is on fold but if you want you have to multiply it by two so if you want you can just you know from there up to the other side you can just measure it when after opening it up like this so this is the piece of fabric that i'm going to use for the pleats at the, along the hemline so mine wasn't enough i wanted a long 
a piece of fabric but i never had the material for it all so i just joined the pieces it is about six inches in width where this will be the hemline and i'll double fold it like this that will be it and then the other side will be the side that i'll be joining onto the skirt as i will be pleating so it's not only that you have to use pleats you can even use gathers you know you can just design it the way you want but in this uh, i'll be using pleats in this case so i'll just pleat that entire piece of fabric along that hemline and that will be all so from here i'm just going to take my skirt and take in the darts the two darts and then i'll also join these pieces of fabrics and then i'll i will show you what next so let's get to the sewing machine so remember this is uh you are taking in the darts at on the at the wrong side of the skirt so it is half an inch each dart is half an inch on fold like this and then the length is four and a half inches because half an inch will be the joining allowance to the waist belt or the waistband so now I'm taking in the first dart like that remember to to tuck it so that is it and now i can go ahead onto the other side of the center back and take in the other dot by the way all these measurements that we are using can can be adjusted according to the length and according to the size of the person so if you have if you're working with maybe a hip measurement of 40 inches you can just add about seven inches for your entire fabric width so guys next now i've just gone ahead and pinned my entire uh, this this long fabric that we are using for the pleating and before every side i've left about an inch for the knitting of the the fab um that long fabric the other side and this side i've left about one inch for knitting or for the finishing as you will be seeing so these are the dots that we took in i've given them a good pressing so i'm just go ahead and remember we are pinning right sides facing each other so i'll just go and run a straight stitch to join my pleats onto the main skirt like that and then after i'll double fold this part to and uh, to finish that hem line so i'm just going to take this onto the sewing machine and join the pleats onto this cut so this is me now joining all my pleats onto the main skirt and remember we left about one inch at the start there that will be used uh, to knitting that uh, part of the pleats so it was a long piece of fabric but i went ahead and you know joined its entirety onto the main skirt like that so guys um for more beauty you can just make this uh you can just multiply this entire uh measurement of the hemline in two three parts so that your plates can be too you know many so that they will ca they can look very very beautiful so this is what i have now i just you know roughly and randomly pleated 
my entire fabric it wasn't measured in any way but this is how it looks like oh do you love it comment below i'm loving it so i finished the other side as i told you before and i also finished the hemline very neatly as you see and gave my plates a good pressing i used uh an iron box and gave it a good pressing so that they can look this neat as you see them now but if you want more plates you just have to consider an a large piece of fabric for that plate you can just multiply the entire hemline by three so i'll just take that inside to the overlocker that joining part of the plates to the main skirt so this is how it looks so far this is how the scar looks so far so now i have to measure this entire waist line or waist measurement so and after taking all that waist measurement i will add about 15 inches on each side that side and this other side i'll add about 15 inches for the waistband for tying um, so that is it after measuring the waist measure after getting the waist measurement guys i just uh, cut a long piece of fabric that is about four inches now it is three inches because i've folded the joining allowances of half an inch on each side and even at the start i have about half an inch that i will use for joining it is folded like that so i'll be folding it into two like this to give me about 1.5 inches on fold um, as the width of that waist belt or the waistband so i'm going to take off the 15 inches first the other 50 inches that we added onto the both sides uh, so I'm marking it down and up here so I'll be joining them you know for just is a sewing this is what I'm going to do I'll just fold them fold it into two like that and where the 15 inches is is where I'll start you know from remember that the ruffles all those frills won't be you know joined onto this belt all the waistband so i'll just sandwich my skirt in between this waistband like this and i'll just top stitch along till the other side and when i reach the other side again i just stop where the waist stops i don't join in the frills or the ruffles so after there i just again fold this into two and then top stitch along as we did before and then finish even this ending like that by top stitching so guys after all that this is how it looks like it is neatly finished as you see so this is it you can just give it a good pressing with your iron box So this is the skirt. It is well, well, neatly done. Any other rough edges that you have, you just overlock them. So when folded, it looks like this. So I'm just roughly folding to show you and I'm not with the person or the owner of the skirt. So I cannot show you how it looks like on somebody's body but this is how it will be looking like so it can just be styled in any way that you feel like you can put the opening at the side or at the center front and that is the skirt guys thank you for watching